Hello viewers, welcome to Physics Universe. Now I am presenting very very shortest and easiest way to find the Green's function. That is using Ronskian. First, let us see what is Ronskian. It is a determinant. It is used in the study of differential equations. It can show linear independence in a set of solutions. That is, if W is not equal to zero. The solutions are linearly independent. If Ronsky and W is equal to zero, the solutions are linearly dependent. Definition: Ronsky and of two differentiable fu functions f and g is W is equal to determinant of f g and f dash g dash. That is, W is equal to f g dash minus g f dash. Here, for the two functions. We taken only first order differentiation of two functions. That is, f for f and g, f dash g dash only. For uh, n functions, n minus one, n minus one th derivation we can take. For n real and complex valued functions, f one, f two, and so on, f n. W is equal to the first row is. The functions f1, f2, f and so on, fn, and the second row is the first derivation of the functions f1 dash, f2 dash, f3 dash and so on, fn dash, and so on. N minus one the derivation of the function f1, n minus one, f2, n minus one, and so on, fn, n minus one. This is Ronskian. Green's function exists only when Ronsky and W not equal to zero. That is for linearly independent solutions. There are four steps to find the Green's function using Ronsky. The first step is take the dif differential equation and find its general solution or complementary solution. The second step is by applying the first boundary condition, take the function as u one, and by applying second boundary condition, take the function as u two. Then, from u1 and u2, find u1 dash, u1 of t, and u2 dash, u2 of t, where t is the variable in between the two boundary values. Step three is find the Ronskian by using u1, u2, and u1 dash, u2 dash. W is equal to u1, u2 dash minus u2, u1 dash. If W is not equal to zero, then Green's function exists. The fourth step is. The Green's function g is equal to g1 u1 u2 of t by p of t w for x less than t, and g2 is equal to u2 u1 of t p of t u2 u1 of t by p of t w for t less than x. Here, p of t is the quotient of the second derivative term. That is, d square by d, the quotient of d square by d x square or Y double dash. By using this method, we can find Green's function for any boundary value problem very easily, since there is no need to find the constants. The problem find the Green's function for d square y by d x square is equal to zero and boundary condition b y of zero equal to zero and y dash of a equal to zero. Now, as usual, the first step is take the differential equation d square y by d x square is equal to zero. The general solution is y of x is equal to x plus b. The quotient of d square by d x square is one. P of t is equal to one. The step two is by applying first boundary condition y of zero equal to zero. That implies a into zero plus b equal to zero. That implies here is it is zero. Then b equal to zero. Therefore, u one equal to by substituting b equal to zero, u one equal to a x. Then U1 dash is equal to the derivation of ax is a, and U1 of t equal to a t. By applying second boundary condition, y dash of a equal to zero. First, y dash of x is equal to a into the derivation of x is one, and the derivation of b is zero. Then, y dash of x is equal to a. Then, y dash of a equal to zero. That implies a equal to zero. Therefore, by substituting a equal to zero in this equation, y two u two equal to 
since here equal to 0 u2 equal to b then u2 dash is equal to the direction of b is 0 and u2 of t equal to b then ground scheme w is equal to the determinant of u1 u2 and u1 dash u2 dash w is equal to u1 u2 dash minus u2 u1 dash it is equal to u1 equal to x and u2 dash is 0 minus u2 is b and u1 dash u1 dash is a b into a is equal to here it is 0 so w is equal to minus a b then the Green's function g is equal to g1 equal to u1 u2 of t by p of t into w this is equal to u1 is equal to ax and u2 of t u2 of t is b ax into b by p of t is 1 and w is equal to minus ab this is equal to minus x here ab ab cancelled x less than t and u t is equal to u2 u1 of t by p of t into w this is equal to u2 is b and u1 of t u1 of t is a t into a t by p of t is 1 and w is equal to minus a b this is equal to minus t for t less than x Now the second problem is find the Green's function for d square over dx square minus k square y is equal to f of x. Boundary conditions are y of plus or minus inventory is equal to 0. This is a very very important problem. Step 1 is d square over dx square minus k square y is equal to 0. The differentiation, the differential equation. That is d square k is equal to 0. The solution, general solution of this equation is y of x is equal to a e power kx plus b e power minus kx. And the coefficient of the second derivative term is p of t equal to 1. Step 2. By applying first boundary condition y of minus infinity is equal to 0. That implies a into e power k into x is minus infinity plus b e power minus k into minus infinity is equal to 0. We know that a power infinity anything power infinity is equal to infinity and 1 by infinity is equal to 0. Then a power minus infinity is equal to 1 by infinity is equal to 0. Therefore, y of minus infinity is equal to a into this is e power minus infinity. So, 0 plus b e power infinity is equal to 0. That implies this is 0. Then b becomes 0. Then u1 equal to by substituting b equal to 0 in this equation, u1 is equal to a e power kx. Then u1 dash is equal to a k e power k x and u1 of t is equal to a e power k t. By applying second boundary condition y of infinity is equal to 0, a equal to 0. Therefore by substituting a equal to 0 in this equation u2 a equal to 0. So u2 equal to b e power minus k x. Then u2 dash is equal to minus b k e power minus k x. The derivation of e power minus kx is minus k e power minus kx. So minus b k e power minus kx and u2 of t equal to b e power minus kt. Then the step 3 is w is equal to u1 u2 dash minus u2 u1 dash. w is equal to here u1 is a e power kx and u2 dash u2 dash is minus b e power minus b k e power minus k x minus u2 b e power minus k x into u1 dash a k e power a k e power k x this is equal to minus k a b e power k x into e power minus k x minus k a b e power k x into e power minus k x we know that e power kx into e power minus kx is 1. So, here minus kab and minus kab. Then, 2kab. Step 4. The Green's function g is equal to g1 equal to u1 u2 of t by p of t w. This is equal to a e power kx. u1 is a e power kx. And 
root of t root of t is b e power minus k t b e power minus k t by p of t is 1 and w is equal to minus 2 k a b this is equal to a b a b cancels minus 1 by 2 k e power k common x minus t for x less than t and g2 is equal to u2 u1 of t by p of t w this is equal to u2 b e power minus kx b e power minus kx into u1 of t u1 of t is equal to a e power kt a e power kt by w is equal to minus 2 k a b is equal to minus 1 by 2 k e power k common t minus x for t less than x this problem is from june 2018 find the grains function for d square by dx square plus y of x is equal to f of x boundary conditions y of 0 is equal to y of pi by 2 is equal to 0 step 1 is the homogeneous equation d square y d square plus 1 equal to 0 the general solution for this equation is y of x is equal to a cos x plus b sin x and the quotient of the second derivative term is 1 the step 2 is by applying first boundary condition y of 0 equal to 0 that implies a cos 0 plus b cos sin 0 equal to 0 that implies cos 0 is 1 and sin 0 is 0 so a is equal to 0 therefore u1 is equal to b sin x by substituting a is equal to 0 in this equation and u1 dash is equal to the derivation of sin x is cos x so u1 dash is equal to b cos x and u1 of t is equal to b sin t by applying second boundary condition y of pi by 2 is equal to 0 a, is a cos pi by 2 plus b sin pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 sin pi by 2 is 1 so it will be 0 and b equal to 0 therefore ut is equal to by substituting b is equal to 0 in this equation a cos x then u2 dash is equal to the derivation of cos x is minus sin x so u2 dash is equal to minus a sin x and u2 of t is equal to a cos t the third step is Ron's k and w is equal to u1 u2 dash minus u2 u1 dash this is equal to u1 u1 is b sin x b sin x into u2 dash is minus a sin x minus a sin x minus u2 is a cos x a cos x into u2 dash is b cos x b cos x so a b minus a b sin x into sin x sin square x plus here cos square x this is equal to sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So, w is equal to minus a b. The step 4 is the Green's function g is equal to g1 is equal to u1 u2 of t by p of t w. This is equal to u1 is b sin x. And u2 of t is a cos t. By p of t is 1 and w is equal to minus a b. This is equal to minus sin x cos t for x less than t. Yeah, g t is equal to u2 u1 of t p of t into w this is equal to a cos x into b sin t u2 is equal to a cos x into u1 of t is b sin t by 1 into w is equal to minus a b this is equal to minus cos x into sin t for t less than x this question is from june 2017 the Green's function satisfying d squared by dx square of x comma x naught is equal to delta of x minus x naught and boundary condition is given g of minus l comma x naught is equal to 0 is equal to g of l comma x naught. Here the boundaries are given as minus l and l. The step 1 is for homogeneous equation d square by dx square is equal to 0 the general solution is y of x is equal to ax plus b and the coefficient of the second derivative term p of t equal to 1 step 2 by applying first boundary condition that is minus l y of minus l is equal to minus a l plus b equal to 0 the term is equal to b by l by substituting a equal to b by l here u1 is equal to b by l x plus b so u1 is equal to b by l into x plus l then u1 dash is equal to the derivation of x is 1 and l is 0 so u1 dash is equal to b by l and u1 of x naught is equal to b by l into x naught plus l by applying the second boundary condition g of l comma x naught y of l equal to 
a into l plus b equal to 0. That implies a equal to minus b by l. By substituting a equal to minus b by l in this equation, u2 is equal to minus b by l x plus b. This is equal to b by l common l minus x. Then into l minus x. Then u2 dash is equal to the derivation of x is 0. x is 1. Sorry. l is 0 and x minus x is minus 1. So u2 dash is equal to minus b by l. And u2 of x0 equal to b by l into l minus x0. The third step is Ronsky and double is equal to u1 u2 dash minus u2 u1 dash is equal to b by l into u1 is b by l into x plus l into u2 dash u2 dash is minus b by l minus u2 u2 is b by l into l minus x b by l into l minus x into u1 dash u1 dash is b by l into b by l this is equal to here b square by l square common here minus 1 remains minus 1 into x is minus x minus 1 into l is minus l minus minus l minus of minus plus x is equal to b square by l square x x cancels into minus 2 l this is equal to minus 2 b square by l is w the fourth step is the greens function g is equal to g1 is equal to u1 u2 of x naught by p of t into w this is equal to u1 is p by l into x plus l into u2 of 0 is b by l into l minus x naught b by l into l x x naught by Tronsky and W is equal to minus 2 b square by l since p of, one, p of t is 1 this is equal to here b by l into b by l b square by l square into x plus l into here minus remains multiplying this minus with l minus x naught it becomes x naught minus l into this becomes l by 2 b squared then g1 equal to here l cancels l squared and b squared b squared cancels then 1 by 2 l x x minus x naught minus l into x plus l g2 equal to u2 u naught x naught by p of t w this is equal to b by l into l minus x u2 equal to u2 equal to b by l into l minus x into u1 of x naught equal to u1 of x naught equal to b by l into x naught plus l b by l into x naught plus l by minus 2 by l b square this is equal to 1 by 2 l x naught plus l into x minus l for x naught less than x